shuttle has cleared the tower. Hey guys, welcome back to my video here. This is Pedro Fame, and we're gonna go ahead and get into some cool things happening at the PlayStation uh, Direct Store. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys what's been going on here and what to expect um, coming forward. Pretty much on some really cool things. Um, so obviously, I think a lot of people have known that Sony had just released headsets and a new monitor. Um, that work super great with the PS5, um, but also for PC players as well, as they have a new in-house brand called Endzone, and they're the ones that are making new headphones and new headsets, and I should be able, I believe they have it already, yes, so you can see here the Endzone, here headsets, so they have three versions, you can see here they have the H9, the H7, and the H3. So the differences really, and you guys can kind of see them here, are where the H3 are, is wired. You can still personally tune it only on the PC. You cannot personally tune it on the PS5. Um, it does come with a boom mic, and it does, it is like I said, like I said, it's PS5 and PC compatible. Uh, it's an absolute great headset if you don't like the Pulse 3D headsets. I know those didn't get great reviews, and um, they're kind of wishy-washy on if you would buy it or not. Now I get it, the Pulse 3D headphones are wireless compared to the wired version, uh, which is in the, in the end zones. But there is a noticeable um, sound improvement on the end zones for some reason. Um, I don't know if Sony meant for that to happen or it just happened organically but the end zone h3s do sound a lot better than the pulse 3 headphones um that's just at least from what the when the embargoes were lifted what other youtubers have said and also the reviews have said that the end zone h3s are much better and they sound great they do come with 360 spatial audio um really good price at a hundred dollars Next are the H7s. These are a huge step up, step up in price though. This goes $230. Now you still obviously do have a 360 spatial audio. This one is wireless. So this is more of a direct competitor with the Pulse, but not really because the price is $120 more. So you would expect a lot more out of this one. You can tune this for the sound of PC. You still have the boom mic. It's still compatible with PC and PS5. But this one, you do get 40 hours of wireless battery. That is absolutely phenomenal that you get that much battery life out of these. I would say that's the best I've ever seen personally on a headphone set is 40 hours. I think the Sony Mark 5s, I don't even know if those even go to 40, I think they go 30, some 32, I believe. Um, so 40 hours is absolutely definitely phenomenal. Now, this one is for me with the sweet spot because I don't think I would pay what you guys are gonna see in the next one would cost. I would say the H7s is probably where I would go because I would love the 40 hours of battery life. I would, I, so it's barely need to be plugged in pretty much. Um, the personal sound PC, I know you can personalize them all, but that is that is big to me. Um, and I really don't need the extra stuff. And it has great audio as well, super comfortable. Um, and then in the H9s, the only real difference is that you have a digital noise canceling. Um, and also the really cool feature, I'm sorry, on the H7s and the H9s is that you can connect your phone or any other device also along with your PC or PS5. So you can have two audio sources coming in at the same time. So if you want to listen to music while you're playing games, you can without it affecting the actual game kind of way um, which is a really cool feature I definitely like that a lot um, and this is definitely probably something I am going to get when they go on sale later on um, they don't have an exact date of when they're gonna be on sale so hopefully keep checking the stores and see if it eventually does get into it um, but you can see the h9s are $300 like I said they do come with a noise canceling and it's 32 hours of battery life, 20 hours with noise canceling. 
that's a little that's really low when especially when it comes to gaming gaming sessions can last you know anywhere from three to five hours so if i have to charge it every four days it's kind of going to get annoying with the noise canceling if you did it without the noise canceling then why wouldn't i have just bought the h7 there's no difference um yes the the sound quality is actually the same as the mark fives which is better than the h7s quality um but it's not that much bigger and it's the battery life is just such a big thing that's eight full hours even without the noise canceling and i don't need noise canceling when i'm playing video games because i still want to hear my surroundings so um that's not really something that i would see myself going for so i would definitely say the h7s are the sweet spot and definitely ones that i will be probably looking to pick up at some point i don't have a headset currently but this could be very appealing to me um, for the PS5. And if I do decide to get a gaming PC in the future, I at least know that these headsets will be supported and will run well with that. Um, I know they did also drop some new things as well. I don't think it's up on the site though. Um, let me see, which is gonna be the really cool monitor that they dropped but i don't see that okay here's on the sony it's on the sony site here so they dropped the new monitor you can see the headphones here the h9 h3 and h okay so they're releasing on july 7th okay so i did i was on this other site i was on the playstation so that's probably why there's a difference but so they're releasing July 7th. So in a couple of days, about five days from now, um, this is going to be their M9 series. Uh, this will probably come at a later time. I don't think this is coming at the same time as everything else, but it is a beautiful 4K, 144 hertz refresh rate. It is absolutely awesome. You can also tilt it forward, if I'm not wrong. Yes, yeah, so you can tilt it. You can see you can tilt it forward there, really cool, or back, and I believe up and down or the other features on it. It doesn't swivel, um, but it is a really cool alternative option for people that like to game on a 27 inch monitors where you can, you can also get the high and it's also 2.1 HDMI. So it's a really great option of having it with the 4k support and being able to play at high refresh rates. And that's really big to a lot of people. You guys can see more pictures there of it. Let me see. I don't know. If it'll, okay, here we go. There you go. So as you guys can see there, it has the two HDMIs, has a display, has I think it's a micro or is a USB, USB-C potentially. And then you have the gigabit ethernet and the, the USBs. I don't know what these are there, but as you guys can see, really cool by Sony's part to have this latest product become coming out. And I think it's I think it's gonna sell pretty well, even at nine hundred dollars, even though it's pretty expensive for a twenty-seven inch monitor. But you really don't get a four K one hundred forty-four hertz around that range, and they're really not for twenty-seven inches too often. So that's really nice that it does give you that full. Full array LED, so it does have local dimming zone, which is really nice. High contrast in every detail with, like it says, full array, 95% DCI P3 cover gamut. So this is good for editing as well. Frame editing footage, this is something that's really nice to have. Realistic contrast, detail makes everything in the world. You guys can see here what it supports. NVIDIA G-Sync compatible, variable refresh rate, and one millisecond response time. You guys can see here. Razor sharp details. Uh, oh yeah, the FPS game picture mode, optimized brightness and contrast, so you can see clearly versus the black equalizer where it hides shadows and spots. You can see another one. Yeah, here it is with some others with a mat and the keyboard. And you can customize the rear color to whatever color you would like. On there as well and like it says it is perfect for the ps5 is obviously they make a console that would work perfect with that 
And then you have the auto HDR, you have the variable pressure, and then you have this cool thing where I saw this auto genre picture mode. So depending on whatever genre of what you're watching, it will switch it and put it into the right settings for it to look the best. So yes, here it is. Okay, so you have the for audio you have there, you have one USB type C port. It is not Thunderbolt, unfortunately, but it is USB type C. Uh, two or one? I'm. Sorry, is it one? Yeah. So I'm. It, I think it's one. Two point one port. Let's see. Okay. So here it is. I'm sorry. You have four USB Type Cs. Oh, I'm sorry. You have four. This is what it details to me here. You have two USB As, three USB Type Bs upstream. I don't know what that means necessarily. Four, I think it's one. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Nope, I lied. I'm sorry, guys. So it is two, three USB A's, one USB Type B, one USB Type C, a Display Port, and two HDMI's, two point ones. That's what it is. So as you can see, control two PCs from a single set of gear. So a single set of monitor can have two PCs hooked up to it with an auto kill switch that switches between them. And then here's your monitor settings and everything like that so that you can change it to and you know all, all the stuff that gamers are in love with um, and then I think the specs are down here as you guys can see but yeah so that's pretty much what I have for you to got for you today guys just want to show you guys off some new end zone gear so if you guys do want it you guys just head over to the Sony site I wouldn't say go to the PlayStation Store because if you do want this monitor, um, you are going to have to get it from the Sony site. Um, but they aren't accepting pre-orders right now. I think it's just, you just email when it gets available. You can only pre-order the headsets. But So you can see there the H3s, the H7s, and the H9s. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.